Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. And we're doing one card for each sign, okay? Because today is Wednesday, special day, new moon, annular, solar eclipse in Libra. And it is a big deal. I can feel like it's a big deal. I feel like you can feel like it's a big deal. I feel like you can feel me feel like you feel like it's a big deal. It's a big deal, okay? We are clearing the path with this. There's so much shadow work. I'm going to be doing some shadow readings as we come into Scorpio season in a little while. Ooh. But for now, we're kind of, we're working out what needs to stay, what needs to go. And we are, oh, hello, that was Aries' card. And we're just seeing what's in the cupboard, you know. I've done some clearing out today, some actual decluttering. I know. It, honestly, my nose just like, ugh, I was allergic to cleaning. That's what it was. Yes, I came over all unnecessary, <laughs> lost the run of myself. But I felt, it felt good. It felt good. So get to doing some physical decluttering, get to doing some mental decluttering, and let's get to doing a card for each sign. And we kick off with Aries. We're using lovely Rachel's Autumn Field Tarot by Hattie Thorne. This was a gift from Rachel to the channel. Right, Aries, without further ado. Oh, Aries, look at you. Let's use the other camera. God, look at that, it's tiny weenie. That's better, isn't it? Aries, you get the Wheel of Fortune. This is a rather nice card to get because even though this is a new moon eclipse, and it's not really as simple as, well, I'm just going to start manifesting because it's a new moon. It's definitely getting our ducks in a row time. And any help that we can get from the universe is going to be seriously welcome, isn't it? Because why not? And it feels like this Wheel of Fortune means that things are going to click into place, Aries, and that you don't have to go overboard making something happen, using my inverted commas here, making something happen. You can go with the kind of, literally it sounds really corny, but go with the flow. You're going to get a lot of intuition. There's going to be some doors opening to you over this next sort of couple of months. And it kind of has been going on since the eclipse in Pisces a couple of weeks ago. And now you can put some things in motion. It doesn't have to be all at once either. This energy is like for the next kind of six months and it's the last eclipse for a while in Libra. So it's like a sort of right, now all the bits, now all the ducks are in a row, crack on, okay? And you have the universe's permission and the wind behind you. So whatever feels right to you, Aries, probably is, okay? I love that for you. Thank you, Aries. Taurus. Oh, gosh, someone just did a massive sneeze in the street. It was one of those that had a follow-on sneeze, where it went, yeah, <laughs> like that. I'm quite glad I wasn't standing anywhere near them, to be fair. I'm glad they're outside. Okay, Taurus. Oh, Taurus. Get you, you psychic bunch. Right, you get the moon. Ooh. When you get the moon, it's Pisces card actually, but it also rules cancer and it talks about subconscious stuff being below the surface. For you, Taurus, this is a very good time for you to be doing shadow work, okay? You, your subconscious is lit. We talk about it in the Taurus monthlies and do check out your Taurus monthly for October. Those are out underneath in the description box. When, we talk, when we're in the Taurus monthlies, we talk about the kind of psychic secret nature of Taurus, which isn't in most of the astrology books. Now's your time to use it. It's kind of your secret superpower. So yes, you need to do some shadow work. Yes, there are things, what I call the back of granny's wardrobe that need to be dragged out and maybe tossed out and got rid of, or maybe cleaned up and kept, but definitely acknowledged. This for you, I feel like it's gonna come in a lot of your relationships as well. And in how they work for you, 
or don't work for you. And this will be everything like friendships and love relationships, but also your relationship to nutrition, your relationship to sleep, your relationship to um, a project that you might have on the go, your relationship to discipline. All of these things, there's no right answer or wrong answer, but the universe wants you to do the shadow work and look at it, and it will benefit you greatly in the coming months. Thank you, Taurus. Love it. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Hello, lovely Geminis. I love doing your readings. Your October reading is out. It's in the description box. It's always a, it's a hoot doing Gemini readings. Every month it's a hoot. What have we got for you? Get on. Look what you've got, Gemini. You get the fool. The fool is like the kind of, I don't know, if tarot was a rock group, the fool would be the album cover. Because it's the beginning, it's the zero, it's the kickoff point, it's it's hold your nose and jump and have faith. And, you know, for you, it might be that you are honing your manifestations or thinking or feeling. I know you are a thinky sign and that you're ruled by Mercury. But this might be about you feeling, feeling your way to destiny. So in other words, what's for me? What is the path ahead? What do I need to jump towards? You know, what do I, where do I need to put my faith? What basket do I put my eggs in? These are the questions for you, Gemini. And it may be more about intuition, but it's also about what feels good to you. It's going to be very clear to you, but also fortune favours the brave. So this is not something where you're going to get loads of insurance or even assurance, even self-assurance. But Gemini, you know, you're kind of born for this sort of thing. You're born for flying by the seat of your pants. So enjoy it. Have permission to enjoy it. It's spontaneous. You're going to get spontaneous information, spontaneous downloads. Enjoy them and then act on them when the intuition feels right. OK, and don't look back. Tickety boo, Gemini. Thank you very much. Lovely Cancerians. Hello, lovely Cancerians. So you are my highest viewing sign in the October readings. So do check out your October reading if you haven't already, because I think it's quite good. It's very popular. And do drop a crab in the comments to say hello. Ooh, if you still like me after this card. Okay. For you, lovely Cancerians, you get the Five of Wands. And this is about sorting out any tangles that you have in communications. This can be with work, it can be with friends, it can be with romantic relationships, sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers, lovers, whatever. There are communication, they're not big, you know, when you get the Five of Wands, it's not like there's a massive problem. But there is a bit of a breakdown in communication. There is a feeling of sorry, I've tickly throat. There's a feeling of <coughs> we're not seeing eye to eye. You're not able to really I don't think you're really expressing yourself with all the authenticity that you want to express yourself with. And some of you are on the receiving end of somebody who you are quite aware is also not really expressing themselves authentically. And as a Cancerian, you've got really good intuition. You can feel it, doesn't it? It feels a bit off. So there's something here for you in the new moon eclipse about being very clear with your own words, with your own expressions. You can't make somebody else talk. You can't make somebody else understand you, actually. But you can make yourself braver and more authentic in the things that you say. So, as they say, it's an English expression, cough it up, you know, there's something stuck. There's something almost stuck in your throat. So you might want to do some throat chakra work. 
I think it is it turquoise for the throat pretty sure it is actually so do some work on that and don't be afraid to speak your mind cancerians are by tradition or certainly in my experience of my close family and friends that are cancerian on the quieter side you know they're not people who will interrupt their way into a conversation so this is about growing into your own and we have we talked about this in the in the october reading we talk about it nearly every month in your reading about cancerians and not getting rid of beloved shoes um, this is about filling your shoes in terms of communication and taking up space and not feeling bad about it or aggressive about it but actually there's something the world needs to hear from you this could also be poetry or writing a book or expressing yourself or teaching Oof, thank you lovely Cancerians. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Your October reading was so saucy. <laughs> it should come with a tsst warning. Okay, Leo, what do we need to know for lunar eclipse in Libra on the second? Oh, very nice. You get the six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles is something coming in. It traditionally, for me, I call it my little bag of cash card. So it can be a windfall, it can be a rebate. It's not money that you've knowingly earned and that you're expecting. It's kind of money that is a bit, a bit of, you know, to be in the autumn theme, it's a bit of a blow in. Also, it's a sign that you are helping quite a lot of people yourself at the moment, or you have been helping maybe a friend through something, or you've been doing some volunteer work, or you've been maybe teaching a class or doing some esoteric healing work. And this has been helping more than you can know. And the universe wants to kind of give back actually at this point. The universe wants to pay it forward, pay it back to you. So this could also come in the form of opportunities, um, accidental meetings with people that are actually part of destiny and the universe is working on it, and other people doing you, in inverted commas, a favour or repaying a debt that you'd forgotten about or just giving you an opportunity. So be on the lookout for it, although I think it's going to find you. I don't think you need to go looking for it. And in fact, don't look too hard. These are the things that are going to drop into your lap. OK, so this is very nice for you, Leo. Keep on doing what you're doing. OK, keep on keeping on and things will come your way. Namaste. OK, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Oh my God, I just shuffled a lot. So I'm going to give you that one, even though Leo got it, because we did a big shuffle. And also some of you are going to be on the cusp, so that does kind of make sense. I mean, we're not going to kick the Six of Pentacles out of bed for eating crisps either way, are we? Because it's the card of gift. Virgo, you are the sign of service and for the last six months, and do check out your October reading down below in the description box, for the last six months um, or even longer, your readings have been talking about you being of service to other people who you are in close relationships with. And for some of you at work as well, where you are, you know, you are the house of service, you are, you are the service people, you're born, it kind of... I don't know, it just fits for a Virgo to help people. But I also get here with the Six of Pentacles, people are trying to give back to you and you might not yet be in receiving mode. So anything you can do, and this sounds weird, but anything you can do around any blocks that you might have about receiving or being lucky, so what is your first experience of luck? When did you first win a raffle? Or what did your parents think about that? Did they say, oh, I don't get a ticket because nobody ever wins that. It's always somebody else. It depends. Maybe you felt really lucky, maybe you didn't. But just 
go back to those early memories, maybe around six years old, and think to yourself, what was your relationship to luck, to prosperity, and to receiving, okay? And don't, you don't have to have any hard and fast answers, but just be curious about it. And then maybe work on, I'm getting for some unknown reason, solar plexus chakra. Do some meditations off YouTube on solar plexus chakra. I think it might be about self-worth, but also about receiving. And this is really weird and it may only be for one of you. If one of you has low back pain, um, it may be to do with that, to do with receiving, to do with being the seat, to do with, and that would be your base chakra as well. Um, maybe just do the whole damn lot of chakras, who knows? But there's get in gear about receiving and see if you can soften and go against your natural instinct to give so that you can also receive. Thank you, Virgo. Okay. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Oof. Well, Libra, you get the Eight of Swords. Of course, it's an eclipse in your sign. This is about all the mental... Um, it can be kind of in your own head as well. It's about self-limiting beliefs, but usually I think... Because you've got the Eight of Swords, the Eight means that you want to move beyond them. And the universe wants you to move beyond them. It wants you to break the confines of your beliefs. And also the beliefs that have been handed down to you kind of ancestrally. You know, a lot of what's coming in for this new moon solar eclipse is about shadow work and ancestral work and epigenetics and what is coming down to us and what's been handed down to us, some of which we're aware of and some of which we're not, okay? There's something here about shedding a light on your own beliefs about how far you can go with something. It could be with career, it could be with relationships, but it's time for you, Libra, to just become aware of it. You've got a few months to tie up the loose ends of this and you don't have to necessarily know which direction you're heading in but know it's a direction that you want for you and that not is being prescribed to you by somebody else okay so permission to be free Libra thank you very much okay Scorpio lovely Scorpio Scorp Ooh, Scorpio you get the hermit because you, we are coming into your season next and you know, you know, Scorpio, better than anyone else, what that means. We are dropping the bucket to the bottom of the well. So, Scorpio, for you, and you're good at this anyway, it's all about the shadow work. It's all about having time to yourself. It's all about rejuvenation, regeneration, kind of going into your witchy cave and doing whatever it takes for you to sort of fuel up for your own season okay Scorpios are a very interesting mix of being both introverted and extrovert as well Scorpios having a good time with the right people they can trust can be quite extrovert but also there are times and there are seasons when you're introvert and I feel like the next sort of two or three weeks is that so any reading that you need to do, any learning that you need to do, any weird, you know, esoteric, whatever it is that you do, Scorpio, do it. Free reign, stock up. This is you stocking up for your own season, okay? Because I just get a big feeling that Scorpio season is going to be a big one. I am declaring spiritual big jobs on Scorpio season. Get ready, okay? Thank you, Scorpio. Saggy, Sagittarius. Saggy, do check out your October reading, Saggy. It's in the description box below. Oh, Saggy, we've been talking about this for months. Okay, Saggy. Sorry, that was a bit aggressive. Saggy. <laughs> Ten of Wands. What is overwhelming? What have you had enough of? What are you over? What are you not here for? Okay. Um, 
I heard someone say, miss me with this. So miss me with giving me too much responsibility. Miss me with holding me back anymore. Okay, somebody had their claws into you a lot in 2023, probably in a work situation, maybe family, where they were restricting you in some way or holding you back. You've also been carrying the can here quite a lot. This could also be ancestrally or literally. So, Saji, it's time to drop the bundle and be free and to celebrate that. First of all, you've got to recognise what the bundle is. You may have to do some shadow work. You may need to, and also for some of you, the person who is draining your energy the most might be a real surprise. It may not be the person you think. So spend a bit of time around that because your season isn't that far away and you want to be kind of, you want to be very Jupiter about it. You want to be sick. I'm going to say single. I don't know why I'm saying single. I don't mean necessarily not in a relationship, but I mean, you want to be you. You want it to just be you and the universe that you're going to play, that you're going to dream, that you're going to spread some of your fairy dust. Can't do that with a big bushel on your back. Okay. Identify who it is. Oof. And then drop it. Okay. Capricorn. That one just dropped on the floor for you, lovely Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. This is a great card to get for a Capricorn. This is about your long-term goals, okay? The universe wants to see you secure. Whether that is in a secure relationship or whether it's with a new pet or whether it's with a new home or that you're just in a better financial standing, which is really important for Capricorns at any time doesn't mean you need to be rich, you just need to be okay, you need to be secure. The universe wants you to look and maybe do some shadow work around scarcity, around receiving, about your long-term goals, about the really difficult few years that you've just had <clears throat> and your ability to be able to visualise abundance and then open your arms and receive it, okay? Capricorn, your time is coming. You really have stuck in there so well. You know, you've you've done it with dignity and the universe, frankly, you've been taking a big dump on your head for quite a long time. You don't think I haven't noticed. I've got my moon in Capricorn. Okay. Thank you, Capricorn. Check out your October reading because it's quite nice. So why not? Okay. Aquarius, lovely Aquarius. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Aquarius, do check out your October reading below. But for now, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is not at all Aquarius. I always see Aquarians as being pretty quick off the mark, actually. Um, and this, <laughs> this bad boy is not. He's Mr. Slow. Um, Aquarius, there's something you want. It's time to clear your energy so that you can manifest it. Not yet. It's going to take time. It's not going to be until after Christmas time. Um, and that is the right way for it to be. If it was any quicker, it would slip through your fingers and you would feel regretful about having jumped on it too quickly. OK, so whatever it is, it's long term. It's on its way. You don't have to worry about it, but you do have to cool your jets. OK, stay dedicated to the cause. Do the learning that you need. Take the breaths that you need. Um, take the calm that you need and let things unfold a little bit as well. You don't need to be in control of it. In fact, the more you let go, the easier it will come. I know, I know. And do check out that October reading Aquarius and I will see you soon. Pisces. Pisces. Hello, lovely Pisces. Okay, it's that card and I don't think you're going to like it. No, I'm a double Pisces. Right, Pisces, the time has come. We've been getting this for months and do check out your October reading. Five of Cups. In order to get the Two of Cups, you have got to do some shadow work. So have I. Um, letting go of what needs to be let go of. As Pisceans, I've just, I mean, I would advise if you can, and I know how painful this is, to do some decluttering in the home. I've just done some. And yeah, I think it's like, Pisces is, Pisces, Pisces 
is very somatic and it's a bit build it and it will come and we don't really like being introspective even though we are very introspective we don't want to always do the shadow work because it's like for Pisces it's like opening the weirdest Pandora's box in the world we all know Pisces are completely weird so when we do shadow work it's like Jesus can I actually talk to anyone about this probably not um, but you know what needs to be done take the plunge I'll be doing some shadow work videos soon with a new deck that I've got um, which will be really good I'm just going to say that in advance but for now do some shadow work find out what it is that you really need to let go of it or in order to allow abundance into your life this is holding you back now this is holding us back and it's important that we take that step to let go of the rope okay thank you everyone aries through to pisces check out your october readings below and i will see you soon namaste